photographers. We do have a professional photographer taking pictures of getting the diploma up here tonight. And so we ask that the parents stay behind the red, white, and blue flags back there and not enter the seating area. And now that that's over with, welcome to the 1994 <laughs> commencement set ceremonies for our graduating class. <laughs> to start us off, Heidi Bean has some opening remarks. Heidi. Would you please stand and join me in a moment of silence? Without legal interference of the state. I love my Lord with all my heart and soul, and I thank him for my freedom of speech as I pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and for bringing us this far. We're going through a big transition as we venture out on our own. Please guide us, protect us, and watch over each of us as we take our separate paths. Help us to look to you for guidance, to put our faith in you, and to make a positive impact upon the people and in the world around us. Let us live as, as how we want to be remembered. I love you so much. Thank you for loving and never forsaking us. In your name I pray, amen. band will uh, grace us with a musical number. Grace us. <laughs> Have a seat. We won't let you stand for a while now. <laughs>
We'd like to thank the jazz band, that was very good. And thanks for the beach balls. <laughs> green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would, not I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. <laughs> Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam, I am. And I would eat them in a boat, and I would eat them with a goat. And I will eat them in the rain, and in the dark, and on a train, and in a car, and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box, and I will eat them with a fox, and I will eat them in a house, and I will eat them with a mouse, and I will eat them here and there, and say, I will eat them anywhere. I do like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam I am. Do you guys remember this book? Do you remember how much you loved it? Do you guys remember when the most important thing in the whole world was when you could pronounce the author, Dr. Seuss. Do you remember that was like the most important thing to you guys? It was the first thing that was on your mind. Do you guys remember the first thing you guys got dressed by yourself? You matched the green with the green or the blue with the blue. Do you guys remember that? Your mom didn't have to dress you. Sometimes your sock was on the wrong foot, but other than that. Do you remember the excitement that you felt? That you, were, you were excited about it, right? You went running, mom, mom, mom. And you told her. This is the kind of thing that we remember. Do you remember the first time that you stepped foot into a junior high? How scared you were of ninth graders? Remember them? And then you were the ninth graders. That was good. That was good. Do you remember how excited you were to get to the high school? And yet again, you hear about the sophomore swimming hole? I don't know. I wasn't thrown in, but I think a couple of us were. And now we're seniors. Now this is us. Since all of us, all these first times we've had together, things are changing. We have had a lot of goals, and we've made a lot of accomplishments. And we've been able to do these together. Even though they've been different, we've had them together. We have all faced the consequences of these goals, good or bad. At this time in our lives, we're partying. And this is one of the last things that we will be able to do together, is graduate. Um, the, um, graduating is one of the biggest goals in my life, just like that Dr. Seuss was. That's what it is for me right now. And now I'm looking forward to college. And this is one of the last things with all of you that I will be able to do. Um, at this time, I just want to talk to the audience. If you guys can see the white, some of us have white ribbons on our shirt. This is just for a classmate of ours. His name's Adam Pearson. He's not able to be here tonight with us. achieve many, many different goals. We will attend our first day at college. We'll have our first college experience, and that will be exciting. We will begin our first careers and have our first day on our first jobs. We'll have our first businesses. We will share all of these firsts with other peoples. Never again will we share these firsts with each other. I hope that between now and then, now and when we meet at our 10-year reunion, all of us will be able to achieve the goals that we set for ourselves and that we will be able to come back and share with each other our accomplishments. The goals and accomplishments that we set out to achieve from now on will not be as easy as this book is Green Eggs and Ham, but believe me, the payback will be much more than being able to pronounce the word Dr. Seuss. Thanks.
Now we will hear from Sabre Burns. speak in front of such an incredible class. It's, it's even greater to be a part of it. It is, um, 
to these guys, these young men and women who I owe my life to. You guys are the reason I stand here today with love in my heart. So many of my classmates have touched me so profoundly. When I think about the great questions of life, about why we're alive, I look at the faces of my friends and of my loved ones, and I find my answer there. The answer to the life's great questions is in their smiles and hugs, it's in their hopes and dreams, it's in their hearts and souls. I've listened to your inspiring words and your inspiring messages for years, and messages that come from your hearts that inspire all those around them and affect everyone that listens. What each graduate has learned from one another sitting around him or her is carried on with them into the separate futures. And that is the common bond that we all share. So that when the rest of the world runs into someone from the class of 94, they will get a taste, a small taste, of the tremendous love that was created here over the past years. So willingly have these classmates of mine reached out for those who were in need of a little extra care without any reserve, putting lesser things aside for the greater concerns of friendship. The power of this class cannot be underestimated. The hearts inside these individuals are nothing but pure and open. They change the lives of those around them. Getting to know any single one of them is an experience you'll hold close to always. Do not underestimate these students' passion for life. Look at the faces in blue and red. They scream with energy and enthusiasm with each breath. A mass of friendly, frenzied minds waiting to break out into a world that no longer holds them down. <laughs> the feelings and emotions felt today are symbolic of the lives you guys have lived up to now. And you have a true understanding of the important things in life. The clarity that will allow you to succeed in life. That salience enabling you to have the courage to confront each day and overcome the problems that life has to offer. We get up and look in the mirror like any other day, but because of the point we are at in our lives, we look at ourselves a little longer and we look at ourselves a little deeper. We can stare at ourselves and see the greatness that shines throughout us and the greatness that has always been there. Sometimes we just need a day like today to see it. Every day we have is a gift, a package in which to fill with the best things in life. To wake up in the morning and scream at the top of our lungs that we are alive, to wake up and now is the perfect time to renew those feelings, to look inside and think how rich our lives can be if we awoke each morning with these feelings that are inside of us right now. Those of you who are past your graduation years and those of you who have yet to get there, Look at the lesson that is sitting here before you. The lesson that nothing lasts forever. Not Mondays, not high school, not life. Listen to yourself and feel the love and excitement inside you right now and realize the only thing that matters is going on right now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, graduates. This evening I am very proud to be standing before you and the graduating class of 1994. Genuinely proud of you graduates and of your many accomplishments at Nampa High. Your record has been impeccable. Even my faith in pep assemblies has been restored. And I noticed that <clears throat> this year's beach balls are smaller than last. <laughs> not only has your academic record <laughs> not only has your academic record reflected excellence, but your service record has as well. This is my 14th year in the Nampa School District. We have graduated classes with more four points, more, what shall we say, more color. 
We have gla graduated classes with higher scholarship totals, but never have we graduated a class of students who have given more to their school and to their community than the class of 94. The record food drive at Christmas, your help with the Mercy Fundraiser for the Nampa Education Foundation, all of them together have set a new high water mark for excellence in student body leadership. You have modeled passion and compassion, perseverance and responsibility, creativity, charity and collaboration, maturity and wisdom beyond your years, but the greatest of these is charity. Speaking on, my, on behalf of my fellow educators at Nampa High and myself, today, because of you, we feel rewarded for having chosen this career. We join your parents in being very proud of you. As well as your student body leaders up here. The next thing that I'm going to read is long. Um, if you would please stand when I read your names, and what we'll do, audience, is hold our, our applause until the end. These are the recipients of scholarships, totaling almost a um, million dollars again this year. Derek Allen, University of Idaho Moore Scholarship, University of Idaho Presidential Scholarship, University of Idaho Alumni Scholarship, Joanta State University four-year presidential, Meredith Howard Albertson College Athletic Performance Scholarship, Albertson College, $945,376 with more scholarships pending. I would also like to recognize the following graduates who have elected to serve in the U.S. military. Again, would you stand and we'll all hold our... All right, now to wake us up a little bit after that long list. Impressive list. It's impressive. <laughs> We've got a song, Pages of Time, written by Toby Schmidt, and the words were written by Jamie Hocker. This will be performed by Toby Schmidt and sung by Carrie Dines.
have to stand up. This is who wrote the words. Very beautiful song. <laughs> All right, it's time for the farewell speech. I'm hoping that none of you out there are looking forward to some cheesy, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times, farewell speech, because this isn't one of those. This is definitely not one of those. I've entitled it No Tears, and in fact, I brought Kleenexes along for those of you who've already started, <laughs> so that you can turn the water off. Every year somebody stands up here, they get up here and look out into the sea of red and blue, and they start crying. Get a little bit glimpse, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> This isn't a funeral. This is a celebration. We've made it through 12, 12 very long years of reading, writing, and arithmetic. And something that I think deserves a round of applause in itself is the fact that everyone out here made it through senior English, senior projects. <laughs> you guys have done great. And soon here, any minute, we're going to hold in our hands a leather-bound, empty diploma folder. <laughs> that proves to the world that we have what it takes to function as adults. <laughs> We're all going to go different directions. Some of us are going to go off to college. Others are going to go to the altar, get married. We've got some going into the military and some straight into the workforce. And yes, sad to say, I'm sure some of us will go to prison. <laughs> but... <laughs> important to remember though that right now, right now we all have an equal base. We have a solid base to go any direction that we choose in life. What you do tomorrow is going to determine where you'll be in the next 30 years. It's going to determine what you're going to look like at our 10 year reunion. Whether people are going to say, oh she put on a few pounds. Or they're going to say, congratulations on the new promotion. Um, I wanted to take a minute and look around. Look at everybody around you. Don't be shy. Have a look. Most of these people, you've spent five days a week, nine months out of each of the past 12 years looking at their faces. And some of them, you're looking at them and saying, they're in my class? <laughs> Don't remember them. Okay, you haven't met them yet. But it's true, you never will see these people again. Not as they are today. Because as we go on to college, to our professions, whatever, we're all going to change. Because people change, people grow, and when we come back, we'll be different people. But for those of you who are out there and you're starting to tear up thinking, I'm never going to see these faces again, I'm never going to hear these voices again, take out a pen and paper, write down their address, their phone number, and stop crying. <laughs> it's up to you to keep in touch with each other. You guys, we do have a special bond, and it's important to remember your past. And we are each other's past. And um, what I want to tell you finally is that you are future. You are in control of your future. You've got to reach out and you've got to grab whatever's going to make you happy when it makes you happy. And there are no excuses for tears today. The only good excuse for tears is if those are tears of joy and tears of pride because you have accomplished a lot. And I want to tell you as you go on in your futures, grabbing what you want and making the most out of this one life that you have, I hope that you have no regrets and you lead a tear-free future. Carpe diem, graduates. Now, Mr. Anderson, our acting superintendent, is going to present the class of 1994. Chairman McGordy and members of the Board of Trustees of Memphis School District 131, the members sitting before you and to your left have completed all the graduation requirements as set forth by the state of Idaho and Memphis School District 131. It is my pleasure, Mr. Chairman, that I recommend the 1994 class members receive their diplomas. Nicole Lynn Gibbs.
Susan Judith Johnson. Irene Quignon. Mary Lou Peck. Katrina May Pearson. Jamie Elizabeth Ocker. Aaron Lynn Nielsen. Jennifer Cheryl Nicholas. Chantel Spring Means. Tiffany Ann Folly. Ann Bloomfield. Meredith Ann Howard. Miranda Sue Roberts. Kate Elizabeth Johnson. Laura Donna Lori Dimby. Margaret Magdalena Steffler. Heidi Joe Teal. Sharla Don Chandler. Derek Eugene Allen. Courtney oh, Scott Peterson. <laughs> Art Lee Ma. David Stephen Loback. Adam Charles Pearson. Rachel Ann Chisholm. Jean Marie Caffery. Allison Elizabeth Wolf. Jennifer Marie Warnock. Tracy Ann Wolski. Delon James Dubiskowski. Marcus David Young. Scott Jonathan Allen. Adam William Alvarez. Joseph Riley Ames. Larry Andrew Wilhite. Jeremy Todd Ashcraft. Joshua Mack Wilhelmson. Matthew Scott Baldwin. Sean L. Barker. Ryan Daniel Bain. Jeremy Kirk Beck. Peter Jeffrey Brown. Christopher Michael Brown. William Charles Brooks. Stephen Matthew Broderick. Brent Ryan Carter. Carter. Gregory D. Bauer. Tyler E. Lee. Peter Jan Boards. Benjamin Joseph Bobo. Justin Dean Bledsoe. Justin Andrew Wasco. Jeffrey Lewis Stimson. Melissa Don Stotts. Delisle Grant Bruder. Tracy Ann Lister. Kip Kegler Labrum. Matthew James Boyd. Delma Lerma. Heather Ray Scoggins. Heather Ray Scroggins. Is that what? I'm sorry, Heather. Joshua Richard Lyon. Ryan Thomas Martin. 
John Wayland Marks. Donald Lee McDaniel. Matthew John McFarland. Richard Allen McGee. Stephen Paul Mendoza. Raquel Martinez. Angela Marie McDaniel. Jason Daniel Miller. Brett, Brett Wesley Miller. Gary D. Milburn. Derek Bradley Norton. Eric Allen Bertries. Samuel Lee Nieto. Marcus Ritsu Nieto. Nathan Robert Wilson. John Michael Mowry. Jason Levi Moores. Jeremy Glenn Miller. Michelle Lorraine Wadsworth. Christine Marie McRoberts. Ruben R. Urutia. Jason Robert Minnick. All right. Ruben R. Urutia. Heather Ann McGill. Rosalinda Magina. David Matthew Nunes. Pablo Miguel Ortega. Bryce Edward Thewison. Armando Palamo Jr. Nathaniel Castillo Papas. Jason Bradley Parker. Maribel Menchaca. Anna Michelle Morris. Matthew Daniel Pasco. Jeffrey Lyle Pearson. Dean Patrick Perman. James Donald Riley. Jason Lee Reepma. Lance Kendall Reddish. Mark Christopher Rawlings. Lynn Randall, Benny Burton Provost, Ryan Scott Powers, Russell Allen Ramage, Ashley Brooke Naisman, Petra R. Narvaez, Joseph Michael Q. Stephen Oscar Perry. Tamara Emma Nalen Provo. Ann Nguyen. Daniel Dean Ronfeld. Ronald Ann Swank. Eric Scott Russell. Guadalupe Sanchez, Jr. Chris Sanders. David Ryan Schaefer. Chad Garrison Schaefer. Bethany Ann Norbrin. Gina Lene Algren. 
Tanner Nathan Schaefer. Brian Sturz. John Courtney Stauffer. Stacy James Storms. Benjamin Joseph Thiessen. Rick Wade. Michael B. Vanderbeek. Seth C. Stalkoff. Michael John Whited. Jared Hurlbert. Jason Lee Holmberg. Whisper Noel Pitchford. Lenny Torres. Donna Butterfield McCullough. David Lawrence Whipple. Amy Susanna Vivita. Naomi Kinghorn. Gina Rochelle Rodriguez. Michelle Laurie Santana. Bambi Ann Schmidt. Jennifer Michelle Stewart. Michelle C. Scott. Nicole Fina Robbins. Kelsey Michelle Pryor. Carrie Lynn Proctor. Lorena Borutia. Jessica Louise Sullivan. Mary Ellen Bear. Tamara Lynn Stevens. Crystal Lynn Winston. Melissa Shay Thomas. Brandy Lenora Teske. April Estella Ramirez. Carrie Deanne Stringer. Rebecca Martin Del Campo. Leonard Nitu. Zach Michelson. Anne Marie Lukengay. Heidi Heather Cherie Bean. Shannon K. Hilliard. for all those girls who got to get the bobby pins out of their hair. <laughs> I'll say a few words. On three. One, two, three. Woo! Okay, now this means we've graduated. We're done. Girls, how you doing with the bobby pins? <laughs> Are they coming out? You guys ready? Woo! Congratulations. Are 
Congratulations, graduates!